The story of Pope is an amazing one. He was a Native American leader in the 1600s, and he was imprisoned and punished by the Spanish conquistadores. But five years later, he united the pueblos, and they actually succeeded in storming uh, Santa Fe, which was the Spanish capital. I was in, by chance, just taking a holiday in Albuquerque, and I saw an exhibition about Pope, and I thought, why does nobody know this story? And seven years later, a three-act opera um, is now finished and you have just heard the third of the interludes from that piece. It doesn't stand alone. It contains many themes from the opera. The first fast stuff is actually it's a passacaglia because as part of how Pope organized the plot, Pueblos that didn't speak the same language, they sent out runners with knotted ropes then the morning after the last knot was untied, that's when they defeat the Spanish. So the music at the beginning, the repeated idea, the uh, chromatic movement represents the knots being untied and you can just imagine them running through the arid New Mexico landscape. The first part of this actually began life as the second movement of a string quartet. And I just kept on adding, adding layers because it really fit where I wanted to use it in, in the opera and then they all come together at the end, which depicts the, all the pueblos coming together and rising up, and you hear some of the shouts of war. I have a lot of metal percussion in there because that also um, portrays the cruelty of the Spanish. So you just plant these little seeds of ideas throughout the whole piece in the hope that that's gonna, in some kind of subliminal way, and underpin the action. <laughs> 